Anyo nga sayo? Kamusta po kayo? Welcome to Living in Korea with Wendy Flor. I am going to share with you different aspects of life here in Korea. In this episode, I will share with you the weekly market day that happens in apartment complexes. My family had been living in this apartment complex long enough to enjoy the convenience of this once a week market day. The regular vendors, such as this vegetable vendor, start setting up early in the morning. I can see them arranging their posts around 8 o'clock in the morning, putting up their baskets and various vegetables. The once a week market is also a convenient place to buy fresh fruits. The fruit supply is dependent on the season, so you are assured of seasonal fruits. There are also different kinds of seafood such as fish, shrimps, crabs, squid, and many more. There is also an abundant supply of all kinds of beans and root crops, as well as all the necessary ingredients for Korean traditional dishes. Winter, spring, summer, and fall, early morning to dusk, they are there, ever-present, to sell to the neighborhood. Ajumas, like myself, benefit a lot from this weekly setup. I live at the World Cup Apartments. Just like any other apartments, it is composed of several complexes called Danji. For example, when the address has Il Danji, it means Complex 1. Each complex has a designated market day. In the complex where I live, Monday is the market day. Every Monday, these vendors would set up and sell, and the families around would conveniently buy from them. They also do delivery right to your doorstep, especially my beloved fruit vendors. The stalls have protective covering. This was taken last winter. These covers protect the vendors from the nasty chill all day long and gives the buyers some warmth against the cold winter breeze. The covers go down as spring unfolds and the cold becomes tolerable. Spring, summer and autumn, this becomes an open marketplace where everyone sees everybody's products. You see, this apartment complex has a local elementary school on one side and a local high school on the other side. So there is a spot popular with kids. Right after school, students would flock here and have their afternoon snacks. The fruit vendors are my favorite. They are very accommodating and always ready to help. I try hard to talk to them in Korean. They try hard to talk to me in English. Their fruits are fresh and I buy my weekly supplies from them. They are also the sweetest. The Ajuma even remembers my parents who visited two years ago. That made me feel I have a community here. The marketplace also sells clothes, apt for the season. 
they patiently wait till closing until it's time to pack up. Then, there are books and ready-to-eat dishes. I sometimes buy from them easy dinner. Sometimes, bike repair is available, ideal for a residential place filled with children's needs. The man handling the vegetable area had been selling here for as long as I can remember, probably even before I came to live in this area. I appreciate the familiarity. On separate occasions, I ran out of cash, and he didn't have a card reader. He just told me to pay the week after. It happened twice. The couple selling seafood are my reliable source of seafoods. He cleans and cuts my fish depending on my request. He also teaches me Korean words every now and then. I started minimalizing my use of plastic bags, and they respect that. I love my neighborhood. My day ends with a sense of community and security. Let me know in the comment section what aspect of Korea life would you like to know next. Until then, Wendy Floor.